Now, since November last year, we have been campaigning on behalf of Whirlpool customers, right, who have been subjected to faulty machines and, in some cases, fires, devastating fires Very devastating. In their we saw homes. those pictures, yeah. And before we talk to our consumer exports regarding the latest uh, help and information there is, let's have a look back on this campaign so far. Well, the alert put out by Indesit follows a series of household blazes and could affect millions of families. Well, it appears the situation is becoming increasingly dangerous, with one family losing their home in a fire, believed to have been caused by their tumble dryer. Well, Whirlpool, who own the Hot Point brand, turned us down three times when we asked them to come on the show to talk about the fire hazard posed by these machines, so we sent Alice Beer to them in Michigan. What if it is too late and there is a death? I don't want to be sitting here doing this interview, and you certainly don't. I believe the products are safe. Put the, the tumble dryer out after lunch there, and I'd got upstairs to go and get the little and I said, putting it on. I come back down the stairs with him and it was just a light, it was just okay. going. We're calling this our wall of shame. These are emails that were sent to us from you during yesterday's show. In terms of manufacturing, when did Whirlpool, Hot Point and the other brands, when did they know that this problem was in place? Mr. Pedrino, thank you for joining us. I, I want to ask you a direct question now. How will you feel if a family, one of those sets of loyal customers, die because their house burns down on your watch? Well, some tough questions during our campaign. And we're joined now by Alice Beer, who's been obviously spearheading the whole crusade on behalf of this morning. And also, we've got Peter Mori with us today. Peter is head of campaigns at consumer website Witch, and Witch have carried out an undercover investigation. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Which, uh, is, which is printed uh, today. That's right. Yeah. Publishing the, uh, the results of, of that today. Uh, this is, without doubt, for Whirlpool, for Hotpoint, for whichever other brand they're trading under, it's a PR disaster, it's a business disaster for them. How are they handling the fallout? Well, not very well from, the, from our investigation. We did a number of things. Like you, we've been hearing from Whirlpool customers who are really concerned about this. And so we wanted to go in, in a bit more depth. We did some mystery shopping. We called up the call centre ourselves to see how they were handling people's issues. We uh, also went out and spoke to 800 affected customers to find out how they felt about it. And we heard in detail from 40 customers. And we find very high levels of concern. Clearly, 60% of people worried about the safety of their machine. And when we did our mystery shopping, we found that actually the advice that we were getting from call handlers was really very unsatisfactory. Whirlpool themselves are saying, you know, if you have one of these machines, you need to make sure that it's attended when, when it's running. You need to make sure that you're cleaning it between, uh, between dries. And yet, when we called up the call centre, they were telling us there's nothing to worry about. So it's a really poor practice before, here. Haven't we lack of training as well? When people are calling, the people who are answering the phones have no idea what to do with them. Absolutely. Absolutely, and the people, the thousands and thousands of people that have called our program and told us about it, and I know they've told Consumer yeah. group, group which, they feel like they're going mad because they mm -hmm. are passed from pillar to post. People are denying knowledge. Now, of course, it is a huge scale that Hot Point Whirlpool are trying to deal with, but that doesn't matter. These are individuals who are putting their lives on hold to try and secure safety for their families. And I'm so glad that Witch has done this investigation. Oh. We've, we've got a call that is a good illustration of how frustrating this process can be. This is a call that has been voiced by... The Hotpoint employee has been voiced by one of our team, um, but the customer is real, mm. and we've pieced this call together. But this is a real experience. This is an amazing customers. insight, isn't it, yeah. Yeah. into what goes on Imagine this number. is the fifth call you've made right. that morning, yeah. OK, and this is what you get. The supervisor is saying that she cannot speak to you at the minute because she's currently busy. It shouldn't have come to our department whatsoever. So I've been trying to resolve this for you, but I've just been advised by my supervisor that um, there's nothing I can actually do, and I can only tell you that I can pass on your emails and everything else onto one of my supervisor's email addresses, and they can take it from there. But they won't exactly be able to talk to you or deal with it today at this precise minute. So what do I do? I need to go out and purchase a new dryer but I haven't got the funds. OK, right. You know what? I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, I, I was just trained to book modification appointments. I'm not even going to lie to you. You've just been passed around. I have, and I hope you realise I'm, I'm recording this because I'm, I'm sick to death of it now. I am, it's, it is a joke. 
It is a joke, and as you said, passed on, passed on, Absolutely. passed on. Nobody's actually seems to be getting any joy. It's exactly, play. it's exactly what we found, and you know, uh, yeah, lots of people struggling to even get a customer ID number. I mean, waiting eight to twelve weeks just to get that basic piece of information so that they can get their machine uh, repaired. So, real, real problems here. I've got to say that Whirlpool have given us a statement that they yeah. dispute some of the findings on the witch investigation. They say the issues are at an unprecedented level. They're working round the clock, and the safety of their customers is the number one priority we are not going to let this drop really pleased that which have got their teeth behind it as well and we are going to continue one in six homes has got one of these dryers in the UK and we're not going to let well, this it's drop. not that it's guaranteed to go wrong but it could go wrong of it course could. it and, could go um, wrong all that extra attention you're supposed to be in the room you're supposed to clean I mean, people have got lives to get on with mm. but Pete let me ask you this somebody in Britain has had to stamp this, rubber stamp this, and say, yeah. do you know what, these machines are fine, these are okay. It's very confusing because they're trading under different brand yeah. names as well, very everything from Swan to Whirlpool Absolutely. to Hot Point, whatever. So, basically, look at the outcry we had with uh, emissions from mm -hmm. Volkswagen cars. Yeah. Why isn't the government getting involved in this? Somebody could die over this. And that's a, that's absolutely the right question. The government should get involved. That's what we're calling for today. They set up a steering group. Seems like a very weak response to look at the whole issue of product safety. We think that steering group now immediately needs to look at this Whirlpool case, but also to set out what they're going to do about product safety in this country, given the, the concerns that we see this morning. Nice. I think the other point on, on which machines are affected, we're publishing on the WHICH website today, on which.co.uk, all 127 models that are affected. So if people want to know if their machine is affected, they can go there. There might be people who still don't know. Absolutely. So can I just say, yeah. social media, social media, social media, excellent Facebook um, pages out there that are supporting people. Get a free of charge replacement. Don't put up with any nonsense. Thank you.